Greetings, Baltimore and Ohio Railroad YouTube channel watchers. Today, we are driving through the fabulous state of Delaware. And that's about it. We are on Chaplin's Chapel Road, en route between Seaford, Delaware, um, headed to Milton, Delaware. make this annual pilgrimage every year for business purposes and there's nothing in Delaware but farmland. Hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of acres of corn and soybeans for the most part. Occasionally there's some other other stuff growing. Not a lot of farm animals here. They do have chickens and getting behind one of those chicken trucks will make just about anyone want to be a vegetarian. It is horrifying. They put 30,000 chickens in these chicken houses. And then they're all in such close quarters they have to give them all this medication and antibiotics and all that so they don't get each other's fleas and whatnot and diseases. And then they throw them all in these tiny, tiny little cages and ship them off to Tyson and Purdue and all those guys. And I'll tell you, when you get behind one of those trucks and you see those little chickens and they're jammed in there and their little legs are broken and oh my goodness, not much of a meat eater anyway. And every time I come over here, it's it'll take me six months before I'll ever eat another piece of chicken for any reason. Anyway. Stepping down off that box. Delaware is very flat. And for some reason the roads are kind of crooked. It's a personal pet peeve of mine being born and raised in the Appalachian Mountains where roads are crooked because they need to be. I don't understand why we have to cut a left at the soybean field. This would be a chicken house like I was mentioning. like, uh, what's that called? Mountain, Mountaineer, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. It's another brand of chicken. There's three majors. There's Purdue, Tyson, and then uh, the Mountain uh, Mountaineer or something like that. At least over here on the East Coast. For anybody watching, I don't know what goes on on the West Coast, but those are the big boys here. irrigation systems going. They've had some good rain here this year, but uh, not enough. Appreciate the light wash there, boys. <laughs> Excuse me. So it's a beautiful, sunny summer day. It's quite hot, a little bit humid. There's probably 25 miles between stops that I'm making today. I apologize, this is not the cleanest my windshield has ever been. And there is a glare on the easy path. these chicken companies I'm not in the farming business by the way so this is all what I say about this is just consumer education it's not I have no dog in that fight but as you, as you drive along you'll see signs and it'll be like Smith Farm and it'll have Purdue on it or Tyson or whatever and I guess I don't really understand how all that works, but I see the signs. Anyway, back to Delaware. They have neat little houses, nice and tidy. Dover Air Force Base is 
quite a bit north from us. We have a lot of servicemen here. This is the more southern to kind of central part of the state, a little bit coastal. We got a lovely soybean field there. Growing me some tofu since I won't be eating any chicken. casinos and stuff in Delaware too. I don't know how successful that is really. I think Harrington and Dover and some of these other towns have them. My experience with casinos is I've been to Atlantic City a few times is it is a fancy tax on the poor. Because anyone that can do math knows better than to give them their money. Fun though. I've been, I've been to some casinos and it's it's kind of fun, but it's really expensive for no good reason. It's if you've never done it, you got to give it a shot. Talking to some folks out here yesterday about farming and, and stuff like that, I realized it is a little scary what they do to the food here. Like, they plant it, they water it, and as soon as it begins to grow, they soak it in weed killer. And then, after that, they soak it in fertilizer. And that's why we have a complete carpet of soybeans over there. As opposed to, like, neat, visible rows. If you get close to this, like when you stop, you can't even see between them. I mean, they've got stalks of corn like four inches apart. It's unbelievable. Still driving through Delaware. We're now on Beach Highway, headed towards Ellendale. It's with an E with an ultimate destination of Milton. And this section of road is even less interesting than all the ones before it. There's cornfields. We'll probably pass a couple large gas stations. Some urban sprawl. Even though there's no urban, so I guess it's just sprawl. Ah. Royal Farms is a local gas station chain to like the Maryland, Delaware area. And they have built these behemoth gas stations everywhere in the last couple years. I mean, look at that thing. It's like two acres of pavement. What the hell for? Is there really that many people live here? And I guess some economists said it was a good idea. Whatever, if you got the money, sink it in, I guess. I mean, who wants to shop at like friendly, locally owned business anyway. This new thing where they put gas stations across the street from gas stations, which is uh, urban blight, if you ask me, in Maryland and Delaware. Not so much D.C. Northern Virginia is in on the party, too. Uh, but there's so many gas stations, it's not even funny. And they keep putting them across the street from each other. And I'm like, you know, Starbucks did that, and then they were like, wait, this is dumb. Except, Starbucks owned all the stores. This is competitors. So you have an Exxon on one corner and a Shell on the other. For no good reason. And they've all got the same gas. I don't care what anybody tells you. They've all got the same gas, and I would know. Anyway, enough complaining about that. It appears we are in Ellendale.
small town. Oh look, a railroad crossing. Doesn't look terribly well used. back there said Route 16. We are headed pretty much due east. Headed towards the coast. We're a little bit north to be hitting the ocean. This section of Delaware, which is you know, probably dead center. I'm not sure because Delaware is all skinny and long at the top, but we're pretty close to the center maybe south a little, is um, when you hit the beach, it's actually Delaware Bay. It's not the ocean. So the waves are much calmer and things like that. Looks like a beach. Kind of looks like an old beach. Like an ocean-type beach. But it's not. Hey, look! Cornfield. Haven't seen any of those in a while. Actually, that might be sorghum. I don't think it's corn. Maybe beet corn, sweet corn, who knows. They do grow multiple types of corn out here. They grow sweet corn, they grow feed corn. They grow corn for um, like corn syrup and that kind of stuff, food products. go down as the most exciting drive that the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad YouTube channel viewers have ever had. Because I have certainly videoed some back roads in the mountains and things like that for this channel. And this is pretty boring, gotta say. If you think it's boring to watch, you should be the one driving. The only thing I got going for me is occasionally I'm like, oh look! Pass somebody from Maryland. Hey, there's a sign. The Nature Conservancy. Those guys own a lot of land. And they protect it. And I think that's kind of awesome. A lot of big trucks out here. Probably moving chicken parts, but... They don't really do, um, it's funny, they do a lot of chicken out here, but you, you don't see cows, you don't see pigs or anything else, just chickens. Chickens, corn, and soybeans. It's basically the only thing in Delaware. Somewhere I probably pissed off a state senator when I said that, but I'm sorry, I've been all over this state. I haven't been up north, like Dover and Wilmington and that kind of thing, but I've been all over the southern part of this state, and... That's about it. There's a couple of nice little small towns uh, that you can visit, but you know, if you're not relatively close by to go to a small town, oh look, there's giant chicken houses again. And they have these big fans in those things and it sucks the air through so the poor chickens can breathe. That one looks like a Purdue farm. And I'm just thinking that's got to smell like bloody hell on both sides.
they're growing there. Maybe nothing. They might be letting this field rest. 